Alrighty, well, I'm off. <laughs> Leaving behind the lovely town of Damascus and heading back into the woods with my pack for the first time in a while. It's very heavy. I have new insoles in my shoes. Hopefully these insoles don't give me trouble like the last ones did, but my shoes are definitely getting to the end of their rope, so I'm trying to put these in in hopes that it might make them last a little bit longer. Yeah, today's an 18 and a half mile day to a campsite. I'm leaving really late again, so that's a little unfortunate. Might be, might be getting to camp quite late in the evening, but I am packing out a Subway sandwich, so I'll probably just eat that for dinner. Not to deal with cooking or snacking or anything like that. And all will be well. Gotten very good at night hiking recently, so conquering that fear. So a couple hours or an hour in the dark. It's been so bad. So I'm also going to be meeting up with all my friends because I found groups called the Little Hotties. I'm becoming an inductee into the Little Hotties. There's a really good story behind that that I'll tell another time. But those people who I was working to catch up with, and I've now caught them, so we're all going forward together. This would be really good. Lots of fun things, lots of new faces, new friends. It's going to be great. Having my hair up was giving me an absolutely vicious headache and making it much harder to hike. So I've now taken down my hair, which is incredibly puffy, mostly because it's all clean and stuff. So I'm going to be hiking like this for a few minutes until my headache hopefully goes away and then I'll put it back up in like a slightly looser bun but oh it feels quite nice although it also feels really weird to be walking around hiking in the woods with my hair like out random things you know <laughs> Virginia Creeper Trail and the AT, they line up in this one section so we have nice flat gravelly ground. It's kind of nice. It's a bit refreshing. Not so many roots and rocks to trip and fall over. So that's been fun. One more pretty solid up and then some kind of like flat rolly and then a little slightly more up. I have five miles to go. It's 5 p.m. I really need to start leaving earlier because these Late night roll into camps are not working for me, but alas, here we are. So I think I'll probably get there around eight. Hopefully people will still be up so I won't make a ruckus and wake everyone up when I get there. Hopefully there'll be a space for me. Hard to say because this tent campsite does not have a ton of tent spots. So I'm a little concerned, but I'm sure it'll all work out some way, somehow, eventually. <laughs> Nonetheless, it all works. I discovered last night that my sleeping pad has a hole in it. So it deflated, it deflated pretty quickly and I was sleeping on the ground. I don't know where the hole is or how it got there or when, but it's there. So that's a problem. That being said, I'll either buy a new one because it's getting about time or I'll try and find the hole and patch it. We'll see. Today's hike is a 20.9 mile day, so basically 21. We go up and over Mount Rogers, and then we hang out in the Grayson Highlands, and then we're at camp pretty much-ish, so that should be exciting. Yeah, another big long day. I'm still really just exhausted. I have not slept well. I've not slept enough, so I'm kind of hoping I might just get to camp, eat a little something, and go to sleep as early as I possibly can so I can get up and get going earlier and earlier because I'm still leaving too late for the miles that we're doing. And yeah, I am bringing up the rear pretty much always. I, I mean, that's been the same since day one. Of I'm always pretty much the last person to camp. So sometimes it can be a little morale kill. 
that I'm slower than everyone else, but at the same time, like, I enjoy my hike, I still get there. What are you going to do? So, one good climb here right out of the gate, and then a decent, like, kind of steady up Mount Rogers, and then relatively flat-ish rolling kind of vibe. So, that's something. Excited to see some ponies, though. <laughs> Officially walked 500 miles. That's a long way, man. 500 miles of pure exhaustion is definitely where we're at about right now, though. 10 more miles to camp. It's almost four. It's gonna be another late roll into camp. I'm definitely hitting a point of like I'm I'm too tired and this is it's too much. So I'm really hoping I can just get into camp and almost basically go straight to sleep because I am starting to lose my marbles. I'm not gonna lie. The marbles are starting to roll out of the brain here, so, yeah. Hello! Hello! Hi! Hello! Pony! You're so friendly, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you're a friendly pony. I don't have food for you, pony. I'm sorry. Pony friend. After squeezing through Fat Man's Rock, I saw some ponies. I saw two, well, three really up close. That one just walked right up to me casually. I just stood still and there, there he came, prancing right on up. And I saw a field of them kind of off in the distance. But I was getting a little worried that I wasn't going to see any. So it made me very happy that I was able to see some ponies. And now I have a large number of miles to do. Honestly, this planet looks like I always have a large number of miles to do when the sun starts to go down. So that's spectacular. But I always get there eventually, if slowly and in some pain. I always get there. Lots of pony poo. This right here is where I'm going, 8.1 miles away, and it's currently 5 o'clock. So I better stop filming and start walking. Otherwise, it'll be night hiking for me yet again. Although I must say, I conquered that fear, and I've now night hiked many more times, so I guess that's something. But you gotta do it, face your fears, even though it freaked me out first. Then I did it two more times, and now I'm more okay with it, I think. But not for very long, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm tired. <laughs> physically from not sleeping and pushing these really big days 
and I don't really know what to do about it. Except for sleep, but that's kind of hard to do when I have such big days and I don't walk fast, especially not uphill. Oh, it feels so ugly to cry on camera. I'm like such a weird thing to do, but... I think I have like two miles to camp or something. And it's almost eight, so that's fun. I always get there though. I always get there. kind of lost so there's a detour because of a bridge that's washed out but everyone in the comments on gut hook said like it's fine to cross you don't need to do the detour and the detour looks incredibly confusing it's like it's like point three on this trail point two on that trail point seven on this other trail so i was like i'll just go the normal route but i don't know where the trail is I can't tell if it's on the road or not. I haven't, there's no signs like the, or blazing. I'm just very confused. I'm really hoping I'm not gonna walk all this way and then turn around. But worst case scenario, this road, I guess joins back up with the AT about half a mile. So if anything else, I'll just be doing a mile long road walk. That's kind of, not really the trail, because where is the trail? So, there's another blaze. I guess the trail is just the road, this mile on section. I don't know. That was all very confusing. There needs to be better signage, because the signs on the trees where the detour starts says, if there's low water, go ahead and take the other way. The original way so I was like okay seems like there's low water I'll take the original way but it's terribly confusing I just I don't get it <laughs> After a brief stop for lunch I'm now continuing on some chaos has erupted in the group because plans are changing and some people want to do one thing other people want to do another thing and now there's too many people in the group there's like 16 people which is way too many to make any kind of cohesive plan so I don't know what's happening it's giving me a lot of anxiety I'm really just not in the best headspace I haven't been for a while I think I'm just I'm pushing myself both physically and mentally very hard and I'm gonna break pretty soon if I don't change something and changing something like I really need to have one day but I can still hike but maybe do like 10 miles and get to camp at like noon and just rest and get caught up on editing, get caught up on sleeping, get my mind mentally right, like all that good stuff. But now chaos has erupted, so I don't know what's happening. It's all quite stressful. I guess I'll find out when I get to the shelter what is going on. But things should be changing here for, for your old pal, Ella. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing going forward. pizza to get here we ordered about an hour ago and he said 45 minutes max and it's been an hour so i just called and they said it's on the way i got pizza a caesar salad some garlic bread and a pepsi and i am so excited <laughs>
honest an experience that I'm looking forward to having, but I had to be in a car because the lobby is closed, so drive through it is. Ran some errands, did my laundry, hung out in the hotel room, ate some Italian food, that's about it. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Tentatively planning on going back on the trail, however, it kind of depends on how much sleep I get and how I'm feeling in the morning and all that good stuff. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm in a really iffy spot right now, so I'm, I don't want to push myself to get back on the trail too soon. And that will push me to get off kind of thing. So I'm really just like kind of watching my mental state almost more than my physical state, which is still iffy. Took a really long, nice Epsom salt bath, soaked my feet. Hopefully that's going to help. And I'm going to get some good sleep because I am beat, ready to take a nice, nice long rest. We'll see what happens in the morning. Good night. Here's the update. I stayed in Marion for two days. I was there one day. Next day I woke up, was just not ready to leave, was not feeling it. Still was in a lot of pain, so I was like, I'm just gonna stay. And I'm now headed back out on the trail. Now, today, on Thursday. Is it actually Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Anywho, spent two days in Marion, had a nice time, really just hang out in the hotel, especially on my second day. Ate some food, rested up, soaked my feet many times with Epsom salts, hoping that makes it better. Definitely feeling better today. Still like mentally in an iffy spot, but you know, I figure I'd just get back on the trail, keep hiking. It's gonna be cold tonight. It's cold right now, in fact, so that's less than ideal, but I'm also trying to make it across one of these stream crossings here before it gets too wet and rainy on Saturday. So, back on the trail and uh, Gotta just keep walking, I guess.